It's one, two, three, one, two, three. You must listen to the music. But how can we hear the music over all that noise? Uh oh, it's gonna rain. Let's clean up. No, it's not. Look, it's a giant cat. Oh. Great googly moogly. It's a balloon. Wow, Maggie, where did you get the hot air balloon? From the hot air balloon store. <laughs> Can we go for a ride? Sure, come on. Aren't you jelly beans coming? Ah, uh -uh. we have to rehearse. We're out of step. I'm not out of step. She's out of step. Hmm. I am not. I can step fine. Watch me. <laughs> Looks like it's just the three of us. Just a minute, Maggie. Okay, I'm ready now. Um, Maggie, are, are you sure we'll all fit inside? I think so. Climb in. <laughs> See? We all fit. <laughs> okay, Beast. Here we go. Nothing's happening. Maybe Beast is too heavy. Hmm, you could be right. But maybe if we lighten the load... Beast, do you think you could leave your spots on the ground? We promise to be careful with them. Hmm. Okay. As long as you put them somewhere safe. <laughs> Hamilton, that tickles. We'll leave them under this rock. That way they won't blow away. It's working! The balloon is lifting! Oh dear! Oh! Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. Nothing to be afraid of. The balloon is perfectly safe. We're up so high! Oh, dear beast, everything does look very small from up here. We'll just have to find a way to help you. <sighs> ah, it sure is a beautiful day. Yes, it certainly is. Uh, uh oh. Uh, Maggie, we're going over the beach ball factory. Uh-oh. Beast, I think you'd better open your eyes. Why, Maggie? I've already seen the beach ball factory. Ow! What was that? We're in the middle of a beach ball storm. Quick! We need to blow the balloon in the opposite direction. <gasps> Green tangerines! It's not working! What's happening, Maggie? We can't seem to get the balloon to move! We need more force! 
I could try. It sounds familiar. I know what it is. It's the Moo Sisters. I may not be able to see them, but I can still hear them. Look! They're practicing their dance number. <laughs> Have a look, Beast. I I'm not ready yet. But you're missing all the fun. This balloon ride isn't fun at all. I know. Let's play I Spy. I love I spy. But you know, Beast, in order to spy, you must use your eyes. Oh. It's too bad, because you're very good at this game, Beast. You know, I'm good at this game. Can I start, Maggie? <laughs> sure, Hamilton. I spy with my little eye something that is orange. Trees in the oasis? Nope. Hmm. Is it the big duck's orange beak? Quack! No. <laughs> You'll never get it. I know. It's orange jelly bean. <laughs> I guess they gave up rehearsing. Nope. That's three guesses, Maggie. Oh! Well, Hamilton, I have to admit, I'm stuck. <laughs> I guess that makes me the winner! <laughs> Aha! It's the pumpkin patch! You're right! Way to go, Beast! I guess that makes me the winner. Yep. And since you won, it's your turn to I spy. Hmm. Hey, this is where we first began. There are my spots under that rock. Do you want us to set the balloon down? I imagine you've had enough sightseeing for one day. No! I want to go around again and see what I've missed. <laughs> <laughs> I spy with my little eye something that is... Maggie? Hi, Hamilton. Oh, how do you feel? My stomach still feels a bit uneasy. Oh, so does mine. I tell you, Maggie, I can't eat another one of Beast's pancakes. We can't hurt his feelings. I wonder why he decided to make pancakes. I don't know. Those pancakes are like cement. Yesterday I dropped one and chipped the plate. You didn't. <laughs> well, I almost did. I tried drowning mine in maple syrup. Did it work? Nope. Psst. Hi, Maggie. Hamilton. Did B serve his pancakes yet? Oh. <sighs> nope. See ya. Hey! I'm sorry. Really, I am. But I can't eat the beast pancakes again. Coward! <laughs> Are you getting hungry? <gasps> uh, not really. Oh, good, because I'm running a bit late. Hamilton, why don't you get the cloth and the dishes while I whip up a mess of my famous flapjacks? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what are we going to do, Maggie? Hmm. I know. <laughs> <gasps> Oops. Beast, Hamilton and I are going to go apple picking. Do you want to come? What about my flapjacks? We can have them another day. Yes, we should pick the apples while they're still plump and juicy. Oh, I love apple picking.
but the orchard is so far away. It's best if we go on a full stomach. Oh, I'll get the cloth and the dishes. I'll help. Thanks, Maggie. Oh, my stomach is starting to hurt already. Hi, guys. <gasps> oh, no. The table's all set. Didn't be service pancakes yet? Sorry, friends. You're on your own. I do believe I hear my phone. Hey, Natalie! You don't have a phone! Hmm. Did I put any eggs in here? I'd better add another one just to be sure. <sighs> Are you ready? I guess so! Oh, Maggie, what are we going to do? Hmm, Hamilton, have you ever seen the Beast eat one of his pancakes? Come to think of it, Maggie, I never have. <laughs> are you ready for my famous pancakes? Wait, Beast, have you eaten any of your pancakes? Nope, I've just been too busy. Now, hold on, Beast. Why not let us serve you for a change? No, no, I want to do this for you. You haven't even tasted your pancakes? Why do you ask? No reason. Wait, Hamilton. We must tell Beast the truth. The truth about what? The truth about your pancakes. What's wrong with them? Everything? Hamilton, that isn't very nice. Just taste one. Great googly moogly. They're really awful. I was just so busy cooking every day, I never took time to sit down and eat one. Oh. Dear beast, please don't look so sad. But I did so want to show you and Hamilton that I could make perfect pancakes. That really isn't necessary, Beast. It is to me. You and Maggie can do so many interesting things. Hamilton, you're a wonderful chef. And Maggie thinks up such great games and all that stuff. And what can I do? Nothing. Hmm. Maggie, what's wrong? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if my dad could use these to fix our roof. Oh, dear. Are they really that bad? I'm sorry, Beast. I didn't mean to make you feel worse. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You have finished eating, I hope. Relax, Rudy. You don't have to worry. I won't be serving any more pancakes. Uh, oh, gee, <laughs> that's too bad. I'm sorry I missed them today. Rudy, that won't be necessary. Hamilton and I told the Beast the truth about his pancakes. <sighs> Come on, Beast. Cheer up. You're the ferocious Beast. Hamilton's right. And you do something that none of us can do. <gasps> What's that? You take us all around Nowhere Land. I guess you could say, I'm a ferocious beast of burden. Who needs these old pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> do you feel better now, Beast? Oh, I do. I certainly do. Hi, guys. This pancake was sailing through the air. They make great flying saucers. They don't bend, break, or tear. They do? Here, Nedley. Throw it to me. <clears throat> <laughs> My turn! My turn! Oh dear! I missed! I'll get it! <laughs> Beast, these are really great flying saucers! And if we run out of them, I can always make more! Maggie! 
Over here! Okay, I can do this. Oops! <laughs> Over here! Brother. Land of the Antique Toys. Where are we going, Maggie? To the land of the antique toys. Oh, um, Maggie, what is an antique? Do you bounce it or throw it or take it to sleep with you? <laughs> Dear Beast, <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Beast, you are funny. Hmm, I don't know what's so funny. Just because I never played with an antique. <laughs> and why are you laughing, Hamilton? Have you ever played with an antique? Uh, <clears throat> I, uh... You're wasting time, Beast. Let's get moving. Whoa! <gasps> I want to know what an antique is. <laughs> Just tell him, Maggie, so we can get moving. Why don't you tell me, Hamilton? Uh... Beast, antique means old, from the past. <laughs> uh, right! It's the land of the old toys. Now let's go. Go to the left, Beast. It's down there. <gasps> Look at the teddy bears. Come on, Maggie! Well now, it's good to see you again. I hope you remember me. Oh, dear Archie, of course we remember you. Well, how did you get here? Great googly moogly. Are you an antique, Archie? Well, lad, I'm certainly not getting any younger. I figured it was about time to see a bit of nowhere land. I came upon this place, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> oh, oh, hello there, duck. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, he doesn't talk. Only quacks, and he's formed quite an attachment to me since I found his key. Come along, Mr. Duck. I'll give you a good wind-up. He seems to be very fond of you, Archie. Aye, well, <laughs> Mr. Duck is fond of whoever will wind him up. He keeps me quite busy. I think he needs to be wound up again. May I? Certainly. That should do it. Come along now. I'll show you around. Look, Beast, Maggie, wind up toys. Wee bunny banks! Oh, look at that rascal go! Watch out, Hamilton! There's something behind you! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, isn't this great? I always wanted a car like this. Maggie, wind me up, please. <laughs> A paddle ball!
I'm a wee robot friend, only I can't seem to get him working. Oh, he sure is cute. Oh, Maggie, do you think Hamilton has any extra batteries for this little fella? Good idea. Hamilton! Archie needs batteries. What's wrong? Is he running low? No, they're not for him. They're for his little robot. Hold on, I'll get them. Here you go. Thank you, Archie. Well, you're welcome, wee fella. And what's your name? My name is Romar. I am the all-knowing robot. Ask me any question. Ask him something, Maggie. Hmm, Romar, how much is two plus two? Two plus two equals three. <laughs> <laughs> two and two equals four, Romar. Oh, ask him something else. Maybe he has to get warmed up. Let me try. Romar, why is the sky blue? I am Romar. What is your next question? Really, Hamilton? That's too hard. I'll ask him something easier. What color is a yellow canary? A yellow canary is green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a yellow canary is yellow, Romar. Wait, I have one more question. Romar, what is a friend? Archie is a friend. Oh, why, thank you, Romar. I've had such a good time, but I think it's time for us to go. Well, it's sad to see you go, but I want to thank you for fixing Romar. He may not have all the answers, but it's awfully nice to have a friend. <coughs> We'll come back again, and I'll be sure to bring more batteries. Oh, thank you, laddie. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye. See you later.